crash this car. All this will all be flattened. I've probably crashed over 600 cars. Most people don't uh, crash 600 cars. Hearing the, the loud crunch for the first time was, was definitely exciting. It's very fulfilling to uh, crash cars every day. It's become kind of routine at this point. It's just work. Every year we send dozens of new cars hurling into walls. We whack the latest models from the side, we tip onto two wheels, we slam head-on into barriers. Why? Because someday, maybe someday soon, you may do the same. Our job is to do it first. While our work ends up on the web, it all starts in a very different place, like this crash test facility an hour southwest of Milwaukee. We've prepared this vehicle to crash. We have a bunch of sensors uh, measuring these dummies, and we've painted the dummies to see where they contact the inside of the vehicle. We have high-speed cameras to catch what happens in a fraction of a second. This vehicle is going to go down the track at 35 miles an hour and crash into the wall. There's hours and hours of pre-test measuring before the passengers even get put in the car. We carefully calibrate each dummy and each instrument to make sure that they give us very specific results that are detailed and oriented to what we're trying to achieve. The car starts in the vehicle preparation area at the end of the track there. It's about 780 feet. So the car comes in at 35 miles an hour, hits the barrier, there's 132 load cells, collects the data, see how much force it actually takes on the impact. It's a great indicator of how it will perform in the same situation in the real world. After the impact takes place, uh, a crew will come out and do post-test measurements. What we're looking at after the crash test is to look at the front structure of the vehicle, look at the crush, see how that energy translated to the occupant compartment. We're looking to make sure the airbags deployed correctly, we're looking to make sure that the seat belt operated correctly. We look at the contact points from the chalk on the dummy, see how they translated to the airbag and any other structural points on the vehicle. Take a look at the fuel system, make sure that there's no leaks. You can also look at the front end of the vehicle, see all of the components crushed and absorbed energy. Yeah, I just downloaded all the data, and then what I do is I transfer it to one of the computers in our control room, and they actually physically process the data. Data will tell us, you know, how what part of the dummy got the severe injury, whether it's the rib cage, the head. So we're gonna, when we get the data, we are gonna sit down with the videos that we have during the test, and then we're gonna see you know, at what point the dummy hit where and because of what. After a crash test, every impact and every contact is measured, analyzed and documented, then reviewed, analyzed and quality checked again.